friends, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel. I thought it'd be fun today to share with you how I created this spooktacular tablescape, all with Dollar Tree items and things I already had, and for less than $20. Let's get started. So the first thing I did was head off to Dollar Tree to grab 15 items of things that I thought I could use in my tablescape. I ended up choosing this witch kind of hocus pocus theme that had this beautiful purple and black and gold. I thought that I could really use some of the items I already had at home and make a really cute tablescape. So the first item I DIY'd were these eyeball hurricane lanterns. I know, that sounds funny. I have used these lanterns multiple times. If you've watched my fall decorate with me, you would have seen them on my dining room table for fall. So I pulled those back out and I'm repurposing again some of these same stems that you saw me use in my fall decorate with me. I chose these green kind of seedy grass looking pieces to film the bottom portion of the hurricane. I chose them because I thought that they would kind of help the eyeballs float down in the bottom of the jar. So I simply placed those pieces in a circular motion in the bottom of the jar and then I opened my bag of 16 eyeballs and just randomly dropped those in. I dropped them in and then I went back in and I wanted the eyeball portion kind of looking out of the glass. So I just readjusted some of those so that you could see the green eyeball portion looking out through the glass part of the hurricane. I slipped the candle portion back in and then I added in a white taper candle just playing off all of some of those same colors. And this is how they turned out. Really whimsical and really cute. So this next DIY, you probably already have the items on hand. I went ahead and purchased new candles, six emergency candles from Dollar Tree, and then you'll just need crayons. So all you do is light your candle and you want to hold your crayon in a pretty substantial flame. And the reason you want that flame high is you really want to be able to melt a significant amount of that crayon wax at a time and then just let it naturally run into the flame and down your candle. It creates a really neat effect. I chose purple and black because it coordinated with my theme, but I think a white candle with red crayon wax or a black candle with red crayon wax would be really neat effect, especially for a more adult themed table. The next thing I moved on to were the three little containers that looked like spell books. I pushed in some soft floral foam that I already had just to help maintain the shape and to give me something to push these skewers into. I utilized two skewers and added hot glue to the tip and then I put them into the little witch boot and I just held it there until that was secure. I did that to both boots and then I pushed those skewers down into the foam that was in the box. I thought it kind of looked like the witch had jumped into the box and she was boots up or rather that was the look I was going for. Then I went back in and to hide that foam I utilized three pieces of that same greenery we put in our eyeball hurricanes. That just kind of coordinated everything and kept flow and color pattern and texture for the tablescape just so that everything looked nice and cohesive. So I popped those in and then where I could still see a little bit of that foam around the witch's boots I just went back in and I pushed in some pieces of this green floral moss that I had just to look like she was coming right out of the ground and she was in the book here. I thought it turned out really cute and it was so easy to do. 
I did the same thing with the witch's hat. I used another skewer, I added glue to the end, I added in that same foam, and then I was going to push it right down in the foam. Now because the skewer was visible on the witch's hat, I used a black staining marker just to darken that up, and then pushed it right down in there. And then for our bag of purple pumpkin scatter, say that three times fast, I just wanted to pile them up on top of this last book box. So I put that same floral foam in there and I used hot glue just to pile those up and once they were all secure I tapped in that same green moss around the bottom to hide any additional floral foam that you could still see and they turned out adorable. So now that we had all of our crafting done, it was time to set our table. I chose for my first layer this piece of white gauze table runner. This has been repurposed. Hobby Lobby has these. You can get them on Amazon. They come in a variety of colors. I used this, I think, three Christmases ago. I just really like these type of runners because they add a lot of texture and movement, and they just look really organic, and it kind of reminded me of spider's web or something like that. So once I got it on the table, I added in my black wooden chargers and I chose to use white dishes with a fine gold rim. Again, I simply was choosing colors of dishes and items that I had that coordinated with the items I had chosen from Dollar Tree. And then for a little bit of just whimsy and fun, I added in our witch paper plates from Dollar Tree. I thought these added a lot of color and just vibrance to the table that the kids would really enjoy. So just to keep layering, I'm now going to put on our gray creepy fabric that I purchased at Dollar Tree as well. And this is just another layer. I put the white underneath because my table is dark brown and I didn't want the black to just blend in. I wanted to be able to see those multiple layers of color. Then here I'm adding in my gold gold candelabra with those candles we made and I chose to use two of these stone or concrete plant risers that I've had and I purchased these again at Hobby Lobby many years ago. But I'm including this footage to show you guys the creative process for me is hit or miss. I put the hurricane lanterns of the eyeballs up, then I took them down. I was really struggling here. I put it on both ends, but the symmetry and the balance was just not right. So I'm sharing this to encourage you, it takes time. I went back in and I put these three black taper candle holders in the center, removing the gold one, and I placed our three purple candles we made in those. I scooted in our eyeball hurricanes a little bit closer to those, and I utilized these two black crows, again, from my fall tablescape in the kitchen to the end of this table while utilizing our boxes on this second stone riser at the opposite end of the table. I put the smaller boxes on either side there to offer balance, and I thought we came up with a much more symmetrical look. So then I wanted to add in our ribbon. So I cut off the length of ribbon that I wanted, and I cut the first end at an angle. And then you take three fingers, this is a wired ribbon, and you wrap it tight around your fingers. Once you get to the end, we're going to cut that off in a dovetail or an angle or straight, whatever your preference, and then we're going to tightly squeeze that wire. And what this will do is form that ribbon so that when you gently pull it off of your fingers, you get this wonderful curly cue effect. It just looks really fun on the table. And then I added in our witch's legs right under the plates, some black napkins, and some gold napkin rings. And I thought it all came together beautifully. And there you have it. For less than $20, we have a fun, creative, and whimsical tablescape to celebrate our pumpkin carving party. I hope this video has inspired you and just remind you, you can do a lot with a little. So thank you for being here today, and remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, bye-bye.